Lynx is 50 years old. The Lynx is in a better shape than ever. It's the most popular snowmobile brand in Europe. The first Lynx, they were built on demand, made for Nordic conditions. The, the most important thing is the capability to go on deeper snow, because uh, there was not too much service station or gas station. First big turning point was that when the production was moved to Rovaniemi, late 70s, Nordtrack factory was established in 1982, having a mandate to concentrate on snowmobiles. Very soon we came to the market with a revolutional product like GLX 5900, and it was the first crossover ever. Two years later, we entered in the recreational segment with GLS 3300, 1985. When Bombardier acquired the whole company in 1982, we started to develop products for North American market. Our volumes grow very rapidly, allowing us to invest for the development, invest for the manufacturing, Early 2000, we succeed to find a good distributor in Russia, so that uh, the Russian market opened uh, and grew very rapidly, and uh, that led to us to build a whole new factory. We were lucky to get people who, who has racing background, who was active racers, so that we, we were able to further develop the product we were building, we were testing, and, and guys was on the weekends racing. So the success of, of uh, Pauli Pipola and uh, his Swedish colleagues, the domination of Jan, Janne Tapio, so that we, we did very well. Rave RE, Mole 2006, it was one of the turning points we had. It was race ready model. That was something the customer had been waiting for. We decided to invest a bit more in Swedish market, find a good racers over there and, and, and keep a good support. For example, Peter Eriksson and Emil Öhman, they together to five world championships. Swedish guys were riding with Finnish product and, and taking the world champions. That was something <laughs> amazing. 2009 model year presented EXU platform when we uh, in, introduced Commander. It's a crossover into a white rock segment. That was something different, so that utility snowmobiles was felt to be quite pouring machines. And we were developing the deep snow machines, the Scandinavian usage in mind, so that we had a little bit different approach and we don't have that high mountains over here and that much snow, so that uh, we need to keep those limitations in mind and, and make the best product for our customers. And I guess that uh, we have succeeded quite well, so that uh, the new Radian 2018 platform and models, Punto Cadiz, it's a great example. 50th anniversary, it's, it's a big milestone. Think about 50 years in the business, it's an achievement. Big event on, on the stadium, we had a good show, uh, and then let's say that we had uh, on the spot the new Radian and, and the new models to be shown so that, uh, and not for forgetting the, the dinner event we had all together, the restaurant built inside the factory, something you keep in your heart forever. For this particular model, the, the main inspiration comes from the, the world of uh, animals and especially from the felines, the angry cats. The main idea to us um, make an evolution rather than a revolution. We kept the basic concept of the Rex2 and uh, we tried to uh, push even further. Then uh, we paid attention to the surfaces and uh, we used the different semantics for the, for the treatment of the surfaces that now they are more sleek, pure and modern. Well, the new design supports the aggressive riding in the bumpy uh, trail condition. The side panels, for instance, they are shaped in a way that the knee can slide freely. 
uh, one of the elements, key elements of the Lynx DNA design is try to minimize the overlaying of plastic on plastic. So each and every component has a purpose. So, and we try to treat this component in a way that can be shown, that can be visible to maximize even the weight and the performance. Yes, we try to uh, make the best uh, links ever made. The future of the snowmobiling, uh, I would like to see that we return a little bit back to the roots. It has become a, a quite extreme. Still, people are looking for the, to relax in the nature, that they can reach places they had never been before. And also, I believe that the, the, the families will find this uh, sport again. What I would like to see, ownership, of the snowmobile and usage will be even easier than today. Uh, 50 years from now, where well, Lynx is, it's a damn good question. But if you look at 50 years back so, uh, and the development we had, you don't revolutionize everything by once. So that they, but I believe that the principles will stay the same. You need the track, you need some sort of the skis to steer. The question is, what is the source of the energy the user has been in the focus and will be in the focus of Lynx also the next 50 years.